this snake hates my flesh. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and hold him today without getting bit, without bleeding, and hopefully get him to like my flesh just a little bit more. Once a week, we upload a video that is completely unedited to this channel. So this video is uncut. I totally said that wrong, but it's an uncut video, so I can't go back and say it the right way. <laughs> yeah, so so little backstory before I start pulling this guy out. His name is Marshall. I didn't raise him from a baby. I actually got him from, uh, it was a gift, thank you, Jeremy, from a buddy over at Cure Constrictors, a surprise gift. And the idea was that I would help make a better name for Blue Beauty rat snakes, or Vietnamese Blue, blue Beauties in particular, uh, because uh, they kind of have a little bit of a reputation for being a little cantankerous, case in point. And unfortunately, uh, you know, I didn't raise him from a baby, and also he doesn't get held as much as the other snakes because I'm not handing my kids the snake when I can just hand them a ball python. Um, speaking of kids, like here's my camera crew. <laughs> yeah, camera crew, yeah. So I, you know, I, I really would love for this guy to become a little less bleedy for me. But it is just is what it is. Um, also, just an update on this guy because we talked about doing one. And I'm not going to use a hook. I'm just going to try and get him out. And hopefully, I don't know, it is what it is. I don't know, whatever it is, Chinese blue, Chinese rat snakes, uh, Chinese beauty snakes, Taiwan beauty snakes, they tend to have a less cantankerous attitude for whatever reason. And that seems to be held true and seems to be uh, reciprocated as fact by a lot of people that work with these snakes. And I don't know what or why the Vietnamese versions tend to be a little bit more um, edgy or a little more <laughs> for whatever reason, but it seems to be true. So my goal is to kind of get him out and work with him a little bit and get him being used to being handled and stuff, which I've been doing, but it's just like, it's just, every time I put him back in, it's like we start back at ground zero. Where are you going? Back here. I zoomed in. I zoomed in on you so I can be back here. How about <laughs> Just come, come zoom in on the, you got you can get closer. He won't, he won't, but you can just hold the camera out. Like the camera has its own heat signature. If anything, if he reaches out to you, he's going to hit the camera and not you. Don't worry about it. And yeah, it'll be fine. So I'm, all, I'm wearing my red line sweatshirt, not only because they're a channel sponsor, but also because like, I just don't want to be bleeding on my arms and stuff and I can avoid it. I don't want to be bleeding anywhere really. Um, not that it's a huge deal to get bit by this snake. It's not like he's got a big giant mouth, you know, but Anyway, I just, I'm not a fan of bleeding so much when I'm not choosing to. You know, if, if, if it's a Mexican black king snake that's helping me get over a headache, that's one thing. But if it's a snake that hates my guts. I, now, l let, me go, let me go back just a second and say, you know, I know that it's kind of agreed science that snakes don't have the part of their brain that's responsible for emotions like hate. So when I say that he hates my flesh, I just mean that... <laughs> he doesn't seem to agree with my flesh. I'm going to say it that way. But I've got him. He didn't bite me yet. So that's awesome. And uh, I, I'm not necessarily going to let him crawl up in my face because you know, the thing is, randomly, he'll, I'll be holding him. And then, and this is the other reason I'm wearing the sweatshirt. It seems like if my, if my skin is exposed, he just looks at it. And this is why I say he hates my flesh. Like, see, the sweatshirt seems to be fine. If that was just my arm, a bare arm exposed, it seems to be the case that he would just all of a sudden say, hey, that is human flesh and I hate it. And he'll just look at it and he'll just bite it. Um, but I'm, oh, Brad, you're okay back there. I am doing my best uh, tree impression and not moving too much. So he's just kind of using me as a tree right now and it's going well. And he did have a beautifully planted enclosure at one point and then he just kind of destroyed it. <laughs> you get near, my camera crew is uh, attacking each other. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. You're you're for, you're far back enough. I I'm not gonna put you within striking range of the snake. We might get the camera, and that will scare me, and I'll drop it. That would be great for the video. <laughs> Everybody loves a scared dropped camera. <laughs> right? And see, when he points at my face, it's like I my buddy Matt had a Vietnamese blue beauty for a little bit, and there was this one shot of me years ago holding it, and he just struck at my face, and I just kind of matrixed out of the way. Whoa. 
See, even that, you see that little flinch? I just kind of li lifted my head back. But we're, we're, mm -hmm. this is good. I'm holding him. Wow. We're having a good moment here. In fact, I'm tempted to just put him back right now because we have, we've had no strikes at my body, not in my sweatshirt, my hands, nothing. There have been no snake strikes in my general direction. And so it could be advised to put this guy down right now and be like, okay, we, we've had a very uh, successful session. Um, my baby boy screaming on mommy's back also um, makes me want to say it's, it's quitting time. But you see how he's kind of checking me out? See, usually, well, at least a lot of times before, the way he's kind of looking at that sweatshirt right there, if that was my exposed forearm, he would just start going like, tss, 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 and like striking at it. But so what I'd really like to do is give him some little chin pets, which is something I'm not sure that I've ever successfully done. Because you can see he's still a little... Like, you know, he's not striking at me, but he's still very, very, he has a very defensive position. He's not kind of just curiously roaming around. He's like very pensive and poised and ready to, to potentially, potentially defend himself because he's a little bit. So what I'd like to do is be able to get some little chin pets in just under his chin. Because if, if we can get that, but, but maybe before I do that, I would like him to uh, just kind of start roaming around and checking stuff out. What's up, Bright Eyes? Look, I got a snake out. You don't want to be on mommy's back anymore? I got a snake, look. Tired. Badass, look at this snake out. Oh, wow. Ooh. Isn't that fun? Isn't that nice? <laughs> he said, it'd be nice if you pay attention to me and not the snake in the camera. You see, him, you see him pointing down? You see him pointing down? See this, see this action? This curved S neck? Mm. This, like, I'm ready to take that hand out if he gets anywhere near mm -hmm. me. I'd like him to not do that. I'd like to just be able to rub under his chin. Hey, 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 hey. Chin rubs. Mm. Ah, chin rubs. Now we're talking. Even if it wasn't my, my finger, it's still like we're still under his chin. I'm keeping a fist so there's not dancing snakes. My, the heat of my body and sweat is kicking off the air conditioning now. Oh, this is great. This is good. We're getting. The under... sound is going to be so bad on this with him. No, sorry. The, the shotgun the camera it points forward, it mostly okay. captures sound forward. So. Okay. Okay, hey, right. hey, we hey, got a little hey, baby in the hey, background. Hey, it's real hey. life. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. Look ooh, at this. Ooh, ooh. This is the first ooh. time he's rested his chin on my flesh. We're having a super successful little Bonding moment right moment. here. Look at that. I'm kind of doing a little bit of little nice. bit of movement, a little bit of rubbing. That's actual human flesh touching just under his mouth. This is a first. This is a very first time for this uh, experience with this snake. So. Nice. That was awesome. We're gonna call that. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. We're gonna call that a success. I'm gonna let him go back into his enclosure. There was no striking. There was no de no super defensive behavior in the form of, you know, for me like there's defensive behavior from a snake where they're seeming very pensive and and, and defensive, but then there's when the all that uh, that moment comes to a head and they strike, and that's the moment I was trying to avoid. And that is the moment that we've avoided, even with the touching of the flesh under the chin. So now we're just going to kind of let him go back into his enclosure of his own free will. And what are you laughing at? The touching of the flesh? Of the skin? <laughs> <laughs> you got something to say, turn the camera on it yourself. <laughs> you don't like you because you're Filipino. No, I, I'd like, I'd like you, if you're going to say something, you should really turn the camera on yourself because oh. it, it gets better audio. Oh. And then people can look at somebody besides me for a change in the video. Oh. So, great. Voila. And now I can go pick up the other kids from school. And this has been a successful update and socialization of my Vietnamese blue beauty rat snake. Cave dwelling, cave, cave dwelling rat snake. You guys... Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Oh, you know the thing I forgot to mention? Um, snakes have two... Duh. See, so at least he's back in his enclosure and not while I'm holding him. Right, that's right. Happen. So snakes have cones in their eyes for blue and green, but not for red. So that was another idea behind wearing the red sweatshirt. So. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was, he, he, so he saw my arm. That wasn't mm. the sweatshirt. That was, that was the arm. Well, the heat off yeah. the arm. So anyway... Yes. You guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you for our cinematically, beautifully edited masterpiece this weekend. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.